안녕하세요 림페이시 싱어폰 남재입니다 네, 안녕하세요 여러분들 So today is just a share another Korean language learning tip okay? Now a lot of you boom like to watch uh, love to watch K-drama for Korean lang language learning right? But let me ask you when you go through an entire Korean drama how many new terms do you re did you really learn? How many new phrases or pyohyeon do you actually learn? Most people pick up one or two lines that, are, that, 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 that is repeated like most often throughout the, the, to, the whole 16 to 20 episodes. But you spend like 20 hours just to pick up two lines. It's a very, 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 very inefficient way to watch Korean drama for language learning. So I'm going to tell you guys, share with you guys how I use Korean drama to learn Every single drama will teach me a lot of things. Like every single drama will bring me up to a whole new level. But how how does that happen? 지금 해 나누어 하도록 하겠습니다. 나 준비 다 됐죠? 첫 번째는 don't expect to watch the whole thing once. Okay. So basically, right now I'm watching Psycho Jiman Kenchana. This is my fourth time watching the whole thing from from begin to end. Okay. So and this and you don't just watch like like. For nothing, okay. This is how I do it. Number one, first time, turn on the the in English subtitles and just enjoy the whole thing. That you know why? Because that first time is the only time you're really enjoying the whole drama, okay. So you want to make sure you understand everything because no matter how high level your your Korean language proficiency is, you're not gonna understand one hundred percent. So if if this is the first time you're watching through the whole thing, you really don't want to miss anything. Just turn on the the English subtitle and and just enjoy the thing. That's your first watch. And now you have an idea what what generally what they're talking about and what the story is about. S second time, you turn on the on Google Tama. Turn on the Korean subtitles. Now, this is when every single episode, what you're trying to do is make sure every single line, I understand every single line. That means if there's a line they say that I don't understand, immediately, immediately I pause, take that, copy down the thing um, on the notebook. That's why I have I copied out so many things every day, <laughs> and I make sure I got I check and ask for the meaning of every single thing before I move on to the next. Before so every one episode, one hour episode becomes like two three hours of homework for me, to to note down and check up on every single thing that they say okay that's num uh second second run through now second run through is when you you learn the most things now third run through is when you turn off all subtitles okay and now you try to apply everything uh in turkey meaning when you watch you want to make sure now that you watch you know through the first time you know what the whole story is about Second time, you've, you've written down pretty much every single uh, phrase and verse that you have a problem with. And now, without subtitles, you know, make sure you understand everything. Every time they say something and, and you didn't understand, pause, go back, watch again. Pause, go back, watch again. And if you really don't, turn on the, the Korean subtitle again and then uh, read it. Sometimes you know, but it's just that you the, the way they slur through the words, makes it very hard to understand. So when you see it, ah, this, and you turn on the turn off the subtitle and you listen to it again, suddenly it makes sense. That's how language works, you know. No, it's not how language works. That is how your brain works. Your brain works not by understanding. Your, your brain works by predicting sounds. Okay, so it, all the time when you're listening to me right now, your brain is actually actively predicting what I'm trying to say, which is how it makes sense a lot language, which is how language works. If you take away the predictive part of brain, um, then whatever I say makes no sense at all. You're going to hear sounds that makes no sense. There is a TED talk on this uh, subject, which is very interesting. So you guys can check it out. Just uh, search for a TED talk called how your, t your brain is a time machine. And that guy explained it so well, right? And then fourth time when you watch it, like this is the fourth time. Fourth time, I'm just running through it again. Hoping to go from first episode down to the last episode, understanding 100%. That's my fourth time. This is this fourth time. To be honest, I'm still not quite there. Like, I still get into trouble. Like, 
10, 20% of the time, I still have to pause and check about 10, 20% of the time. But basically at this level, basically I, 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 I can do this whole drama understanding everything actually. You know, those 10, 20% usually don't really matter. They are very, very, like usually they are very slang words or stuff like that that you don't really use as a foreign speaker of Korean or something. Yeah. But anyways, I hope this helped you guys. How are you guys uh, using K-drama for Korean language learning? Do you have one of these black notebooks ready when you are actually watching K-drama? Let me share with me in the comments below. Annyeong.